was a warm August Saturday. Um, I was at home, I was gold on call. Um, I quickly realised that something serious had happened uh, because of the volume of calls I was getting from sort of right, left and centre really. Um, and slowly it bit at piecing the information together it clearly um, became apparent that we were dealing with a very, very serious incident. Um, you know, the first crew on scene uh, had done a smashing job, were quickly followed up by other responders, uh, both on cars and ambulances. Um, there were a number of off-duty staff there who were working. The local engineering company was offering support. Um, the Red Cross were supporting us. Um, and yeah, quickly we realised it was a very serious incident uh, and a number of lives um, sadly had been lost. I was in my garden, saw the aircraft come down, couldn't tell how close it was to my work or not, so sort of got myself ready in case I was called in. I was then called in, so came down, came onto the site, started making the site safe. Um, and that was our initial thought, was to make this site as safe as we could do. Once, once we'd achieved that, um, the fire and rescue services and CCAM were starting to assemble en masse. So obviously opened up our car parks for those vehicles, opened up our, our facilities as best we could, um, got the aircon turned right down because all the guys in, in sort of overalls getting very hot, a blisteringly hot day fired up the coffee machines, um, broke out the bottled water, we made our conference facilities available for people who had been shocked by the event but weren't physically injured, um, some spaces available for sort of minor treatment of um, you know, sort of the minor injuries and um, obviously some spaces for the crews, fire and rescue, SeaCam, Sussex Police to just sort of you know, calm down, have a drink and, and cool off because as we say the, the heat was a real issue. We was actually working, yes, and I was 10 minutes earlier, I would have been in it. I was delivering, so yes. So you do see, yes, everything, you know, everybody. And when I came back here and heard the news, ah, uh, yeah, it was awful, yes. And everyone rallied around, and like you said, all the fire service, ambulance, everyone, everyone in Shoreham rallied around, and it was, it brought everyone together. Uh, you know, such a sad, sad occasion, obviously. But. Sure. Because they did a heroic job. I mean, after the fireball and so many people getting... Well, many people were hurt, but there was vast numbers of people in shock. And shock is a terrible thing, you get treated for it. And that was down to the ambulance people helping, you know. I'd just like to say a very great thanks for all the ambulance service and all of their work on the day of this terrible tragedy, and indeed ever since and before, really. I, uh, and they're brilliant. Thank you very much indeed. Oh. I don't know how, honestly, how they dealt with it because I wouldn't know the carnage. I can imagine what they saw. I don't know. I wouldn't be able to do any. And they, obviously, they are one in a million. These people that do these jobs, and it's yeah, it's it's heartwarming that everyone can rely on these people, and and they don't get paid enough. Frankly, they should be doing. They should be getting paid far more. Yeah. It was a very, it was a very professional response, a very calm response. Communication was very, very good. Uh, we were kept very well briefed in terms of what was going on, what was needed from us. Um, different emergency services were communicating with each other, communicating with us. It was a very calm place here, considering the, the chaos that was occurring very close by. Here it was all very calm, very, very professionally managed. Well, as Chief Executive of CCAM, I couldn't be prouder of our people. I've been to national conferences, I've, I've been to national major incident training sessions, uh, and everybody has been talking about how well all blue light services worked at the Shore Mayor disaster, and our people were absolutely instrumental in that. They're the first on scene. Preserving and saving life is the first priority at an incident um, like that, and of course, that is CCAM, that is our people. Uh, and I don't think they could have done a better job than they did on, on, on that terrible day. <laughs>